If I'm, my research is correct, you're, the genesis of this story was a night out with members of the judiciary. That's right. Um, and um, I was impressed by the way they'd all read each other's judgments and rather teased each other. And, uh, and then I started reading some judgments in the children's, in, in the family division. And I thought, all of the concerns of the novel are here. You know, love, the end of love, the care of children, what happens to money, death, birth, everything. In a way, a lot more human and interesting, to me at least, than the criminal courts. You know, some of these judgments are very finely balanced. You know, sometimes it's two opposing goods. It's not, we're not talking of evil here, just human difference. You know. And of course, one specific story, of course, is the young lad that is suffering, who's a Jehovah's Witness, yes. witness suffering with leukemia, which gives a, a real moral dilemma, doesn't it? And this yeah. isn't just fiction. This is something that happens in, in fact. So these how do you keep that balance? These cases come up a great deal. And in fact, this is sort of based on a real case where the judge went to the bedside, as happens in the movie, in the real case, the judge and the boy talked football uh, and then the judge decided that the hospital did have permission to treat the boy and he took him to a, a Man United game and uh, fulfilled the boy's ambitions. <laughs> and yeah. with this story, we've got a very kind of unorthodox love triangle. Yes. Can, I, can I say that? <laughs> sort of love. It's not, it's not quite erotic. I mean, no, this not. boy is the child maybe that the judge never had. Uh, and for her, he represents a kind of intellectual guru. You know, he, he suddenly uh, is just interested in, by her mind and by her open mind, and she turns him on to poetry and music, and uh, everything then follows. And you've adapted, you obviously wrote the book, and you, you, I believe it was a difficult decision for you to adapt the screenplay as well. What was the final decision? No, no it was a simple decision. Or was it, or was yeah. it really? Uh, I so much wanted to work with Richard again. We hadn't worked together for so many years. So I always wanted him to uh, do something, uh, for us to do something together. And this seemed perfect. So I showed him the novel, even before it was published, in the hope that he would say yes, and he did. So I was very pleased.